Most people in life are looking for how to make a life worth living in retirement having. When I sit outside a shop each morning to prepare for shopping, I'm of course questioning, as I sit here, do I still have the paltry money that I received in my ministry yesterday because of the sign and the verbiage that I utilize in order to do that today? A lot of people will pass by someone who's homeless and not think about what their life might be if they became homeless. They don't think about where they would go, they don't think about what relative might know, and they don't think about how that person would either help them or harm them in that show. In life we have moments of time to prove we are in the house of the Lord. The house of the Lord has many rooms is something I speak about a lot, because people are often very quick to judge me as much as they are to play with me as much as they have in bastardizing their life and their rights over me. You see, the minute you start to pretend that you are over someone in your attitude and your arrogance, God will put you in a state of rebuke. He will either shame you or he will not claim you, but he may say to you, you failed yourself. But when you try to send someone else to do something that is your responsibility, it often gets mucked up. Because that person doesn't understand it, that person doesn't have the same feelings as you, and that person will often be foolish about you. Many people are tested for their quality of faith, not at all. Many people are tested for their integrity today. How people are tested for their integrity today is based on sending them with a gift. If you send someone to deliver a gift, do they deliver it as expected? Or do they enhance it? Do they add things to it? Or do they take away from it is the real question today. If you want to prove that you have a child that is worth having in terms of the house of God, send the child to deliver money. Make sure that you and the child know precisely how much money is to be delivered, and then talk to the person on the other end to find out how much money was actually delivered. You can always send an anonymous donation, but the challenge of that is that you don't know, especially if it's done through cash, whether or not the entire gift was received. You can also send food to people, but the question is whether or not the food handler will actually honor the Lord and not taint the food or take some for themselves in a moment of jealousy. You see, Jesus Christ is ever present in the world today, but so is Satan. And Satan will always challenge you to choose yourself towards God. Are you choosing your flesh? Are you choosing your mind? Are you choosing your analytics? Are you choosing, over time, the reality of the world or the righteousness of the Lord? You see, the righteousness of the Lord is never won through a human being. The righteousness of the Lord was only delivered to us through Jesus Christ is what most religions, regardless of whether what they are and what their claim to fame is, will acknowledge Christ as a star. Not only is he a rock star in the way that we are still talking about him today, but he knew how to build a tribe of people. He also knew how to market himself through a powerful network of 12, which is usually what any networking circle in the business world has today. But are those people actually promoting you is a real good question in which you need to lay yourself. Because if your own spouse cannot brag about you, if your own spouse will not raise you up on eagle's wings, if your own spouse will cut you down and say to you evil things, and that spouse is nothing for you. If your own spouse will disparage your brother, if your own spouse will disparage and disgrace your mother, if your own spouse doesn't honor your sister, then he is not right for you today. What I mean by siblings are those of our birth family, but sometimes birth families have a black sheep, you'll say, and that may be true, but maybe their life path is to do that today. But your life path is not to corral them, your life path is not to school them, your life path is to live your life path. And your life path must find its everything. If your everything is Christ, then marvelous. Prove it today in everything you do and say. If your life path and if your everything is your lover and your partner, then prove that today. Never stray. Never lay with anyone else outside that relationship. Never be tempted to try to tempt a man away from his wife. And never talk like you didn't try to do that today. I can remember when I had absolutely, utterly no interest in someone in terms of that realm. And then she leaned into me and gave me something of herself. And in that moment of time, I caved. And I caved because I could see the writing on the wall and where I'd come from, and I could see almost the vision and the dream that was being sparked in me of what I wanted of some. But what I knew the difference in my mind between being foolish and being unkind was that God was ever-present because of a prayer of mine. 
And a prayer of a man is still a prayer of a man. A prayer of a female is a prayer of a female. But what God sees from heaven may not be what you see on earth, and that is something we must come to terms with today. It's not about size and it's not about girth of the heart. It is about the man who loves you more than life itself. And if you don't have a man who will give up his life in any way for yours or your children, then they are not good enough for your life. You see, a man that doesn't censure himself, a man that pisses people off in your family of earth, and a man who just will not hear the law of the land that says, you may not cross this line. I am not allowing you to cross the line into my place of my storage unit of my home means that he is a liar to himself. And liars to themselves usually have codependency issues. They have alcoholism, they have smoking, they have other issues too, but openly they are damaged goods. And damaged goods cannot help other damaged goods. Damaged goods usually produce more damaged goods, which means your eldest son, your youngest son, your middle child, it doesn't matter, will end up with the same mentality of I am above the law in anyone's life I choose to be. Because I'm strappingly large, because I'm physically in good shape, because I am so cool as me, I can do anything I like, and I can do anyone I want, and I can not care about the time of COVID. I don't have to have compassion for the world. I don't have to do anything but be that fancy girl is what some child might say in the world. But the question is how does she use that femininity? How does he use that masculinity? And how do you prove to him that he's a man or a woman? In your lifetime, you have no rights to see someone in their nakedness unless, of course, they have intimately pursued you in relationship to the point that both guards have been dropped and both people have said yes and both people have given permission. Anything outside of that is considered molestation and possibly mutilation if those people have illegally and immorally shaved the part of your body that you never asked and never wanted to be shaved. The immoralness of the police force and the immoralness of men is that they are learning new technologies from foreign lands of how to commandeer bodies, how to ruin people's lives, how to destroy their intestines, how to mutilate their privates and openly the women of the world don't want to believe it's true. They don't want to believe that the whole reasons we went into third world nations was to stop things like that for me and for you, and yet those men came back with it to America and started to play with it. In life, we have moments of time to decide who are we. Are we a player in God's house or are we a player for Satan? And a player for Satan will believe he is going to lord over someone's life that he has no rights to. A player of the dark side, a player of Voltremont, a player of whatever the fuck you decide to call your version of Satan, will always be a player and a liar today. The player and a liar will almost dis bankrupt his home. A player and a liar will almost lose his house. A player and a liar will never give up anything or continue to be a louse. A man of God will earn his living. A man of God will do everything he can in giving. A man of God will continue serving his community regardless of how good he is, how wonderful he is, or how smart he is. A child of the Lord Most High is always a child of the Lord, but if you choose the other way, if you choose to go awry, I guarantee you're choosing to lead others astray too.